week. Next week, centenary of the First World War has led to countless tributes to the men who fought and died at the front. Less well remembered are the women who worked and died on the home front, taking vital jobs in munitions factories where they face the constant risk of explosion. In our series, The Great War, 100 Years On, Nina Nana reports from Chilwell in Nottingham on the women's war. We've all got people in our family tree that were tragically killed at war, mm. but they went to war. Yeah, Gertrude didn't. She went to work one day and never came back. Because Gertrude Kersley's family are incredibly proud of the part she played in the war. The work that Gertrude and the other women um, in Chilwell were doing was absolutely vital to the war effort, wasn't it? Yeah, because without these people, there'd be no shells for the people to fire at the front. Mm, there, and must have, there must have been a tremendous patriotism at that time, more so than in the Second World War, where these women were doing something towards the Great War. There'd never been a war like it before. Gertrude was a munitionette, one of 950,000 women enlisted to fill shells with explosive powders. Swapping their long skirts for boiler suits, their skin was often turned yellow by exposure to sulphur in the explosives, hence their nickname, the Canary Girls. The work was incredibly dangerous. Accidents were kept quiet so as not to dent national morale. But the accident that claimed Gertrude's life could not be hushed up. 139 people died when their filling factory in Chilwell in Nottingham exploded in 1918. The burial register at the local church in Attenborough says it all. Victim after victim, unable to be identified, Gertrude Kersley amongst them. Outside, a mass grave for the war victims. The women who had no vote, regarded as second to men at the time, and yet who gave up their lives to serve their country. This is the building where the shells filled by Gertrude Kersley and her colleagues ended up, ready to be transported to war. The work rate of the munitionettes here in Chilwell was absolutely staggering. In all, they filled nearly 19 and a half million shells. That's half of all of those used by the British Army during World War I. Gertrude Kersley and her colleagues died without knowing their efforts would help British women in their fight for equality, changing the lives of those who came after. Nina Nanar, ITV News in Chilwell in Nottingham. And finally, never before seen home movies of the Queen as a young girl and as a mother playing with her own young children have been released by Buckingham Palace. Marks the opening of an exhibition on childhood in the royal family. They provide a rare glimpse at the more relaxed family life of the royals away from the public.